hello guys welcome to my youtube channel practice css so in this video we are going to practice uh, the concept of overflow and float uh, in css so we will see that uh, for what purpose these concepts are being used in css uh, and whole web so let's get started and before starting the video i request you guys to please subscribe my youtube channel so you never miss any kind of update from my site so let's get started so the first thing is that uh, what really the concept of overflow is so graphically if we can understand uh, then I can tell you that uh, let's, uh, uh, let's suppose this uh, it is a div and it consists uh, its width is uh, and width and height is 200 px 200 pixels so uh, what if I have inserted that paragraph and that is not uh, that doesn't match the capability of this div so it will be overflowed okay as you can see that the current paragraph doesn't um, met the capability of the div so the values will be overflowed so what what we can do to uh, to get rid of this this thing so uh, in css there is a concept of overflow the property that is used is overflow and further it has uh, its types so let's get started and the first thing we have to do we have to create a folder on the desktop and we will name it as css so uh, in this uh, we have to open the visual studio code editor and after that we have to open the folder and our destination is desktop and CSS here it and let's do it so uh, we have to create a, an index file right click on it and create the index.html we have created and using IntelliSense we have to put the initial text of HTML and we will give the name as overflow and float so for cross confirmation uh, we have to reveal this one in file explorer this one, this one okay so you can see that in the turtle tab uh, tab uh, we can see overflow and float so moving further uh, now is the time to implement the concept of overflow on this one uh, so what we have to do we have to move towards our body and we have to create a div and div contains the lorem paragraph uh, I'm writing it okay that's good and we are to understand the concept of overflow we are giving the width the div uh, we are giving it 50 px and height it also 50 px so let's see uh, what will it returns to us so as you can see that if I uh, if I implement the border so we can judge that how much it is 1px solid so we can judge that how much content from the div has been overflowed so as you can see that lorem this is a 50 px we uh, we might have to increase the size so the things can be seen clearly mm, 250 <laughs> we can't get this one 200 into 200 to double when the set and since to move towards 100 into 100 so now you can see that it's been overflowed so how can we get rid that uh, of this one that the content of our div uh, should not be overflowed so we have to implement a property uh, we will write the semicolon terminal statement and we will write overflow overflow and we will give you the property the properties are visible here I will write hidden so the text which is overflowed in this paragraph will be hidden okay 
so if I write visible then it will be visible and if I write scroll then you can see that uh, you are able to, s to scroll that text uh, it's been um, uh, it's been uh, scroll bar there are two scroll bar uh, horizontally and vertically and that are being implemented so for your ease of access and what if I implement auto on it so using auto you will get only vertical scroll bar not horizontal scroll bar too so that's all from the concept of overflow and in the next video uh, we will uh, we will get the concept of float how the float works and what the things uh, are remaining behind so uh, till then uh, we uh, hope you guys like the video and if you like the video please share the video please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to comment in the comment section thank you